I'd say to date, uh, the biggest challenge or obstacle that I faced um, was, you know, uh, from my accident that occurred in 2007. Uh, I had a firework accident that uh, prematurely went off and um, cost me both of my hands. Um, and there was a lot of learning curves, you know, through that part of my life. But ultimately, um, if it was the, the sole thing that I could cite that got me over it was all the support from the people in my life. Um, you know, they really came out and and showed me that they cared about me. And I know without a doubt, you know, those people in my life that I wouldn't be where I am um, with any stretch of the imagination and, and really credit a lot of it to my mom, um, brother, dad, and so many of my friends. Um, they showed me that, you know, just because things change or things don't go the way you think they're gonna be um, in your life, that it doesn't mean that it's, you know, a dead end. Um, that all your dreams are still achievable. It may be, you know, modifying or, um, coming up with another way to complete a task. And ultimately, you know, that led me to be more innovative um, and to look at things differently and, and really open my mind up. And it also showed me how fortunate I was um, in this world because I took so many things for granted prior to that and, and never really even thought about it and would be frustrated over things and let things weigh on my mind that really didn't matter. So it really brought myself back to reality um, and pushed me into a whole other direction. And I really don't think that I'd be where I am today if it wasn't for that obstacle. You know, one of the biggest challenges I think right now is the work-life balance and trying to find time to do the things that matter and also um, take care of so many uh, parts and pieces within the multiple companies um, that I work with. And, you know, the, the thing that I've learned is to really focus on the bigger tasks and the, the kind of triage, those areas, and then the smaller things work themselves out. And, you know, as as that goes on throughout the day, you kind of find yourself making up a lot of ground on things that you thought were going to take a long time, um, you know, and then also realize that you need to take time for yourself um, to kind of go out and, and look at things differently and look for new innovation and, and new ways to do things. So there's a whole lot of little things, I think, that are the key to managing it and trying to be proactive in that world.